Hey, what's up guys? So uh, Ivy here and uh, brought to you by Popular Demand. We're gonna go ahead and do a cover of Let It Happen by Tame Impala. So thanks to everybody who gave love to the cover and uh, hopefully you know we'll be able to get through this to where you're gonna be able to play this song also. So uh, to start off, we're gonna make this as beginner friendly as possible. Less bar chords, the better. So we're gonna slap a capo on the second fret and it's just the verse and the, um, you know, most of the whole song, you know, besides a couple of parts where it kind of veers off to, you know, separate chords and then goes right back to it. Uh, so chords we're gonna be doing are gonna be G. Second chord's gonna be E minor. Then the third chord is gonna be uh, G. Uh, well, in bar chord, it would be G sharp minor sus4, but the thing is like F sharp minor sus4, so it's going to be barring, so this is the only bar chord that you're going to need to do, is going to be barring the second fret relative to the capo, and then you're going to take ring finger on uh, fourth fret of D, and then pinky on third or fourth fret of G. So it's going to sound like... So, all right, and then the strum pattern. So, I'm just going to play it for you guys slowly. So there's the verse, pretty much, you know, from the beginning all the way up until it goes to, um... So that part uh, is going to be just uh, four chords also. So it's going to be relative to the capo, uh, C sharp minor, one, two, three, four, yeah, C sharp minor. And then it's going to be A. And then B. And then E. And then the strum pattern for that is it's the same. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, yeah, then there's your little bridge part, and then you go right back to the... Yep. <laughs> and then um, we get to... Once, you know, song builds up and everything, you're, you're past the... You're past all of that, um, which if you guys want like, you know, a lesson on, I'm gonna try to just keep this as like the beginner friendly acoustic version of it uh, to make it just kind of like, you know, more accessible for everybody who wants to wants to learn the song. If you want like a tutorial on, you know, like the little noodly parts of the song, uh, then I'm more than happy to bring that to you. Uh, but we're just right now just gonna just do this 
straight up chord version. Um, and then also just gonna show you guys how to do the little guitar riff, you know, the legendary, you know, fat, fat riff. So uh, here we go. So it's gonna sound like. So what that is, is going to be starting off on the relative to capo third fret, and you're just going to hit that twice, and then slide after that third hit. So once you hit that third hit, you're going to slide it to the fifth fret, so, and then hit that again, and then slide it back to the third fret. So, and then go to the second fret, and you're just gonna go from the second fret to the third fret. You really can do this whole solo just with one finger, but um, yeah, from the first fret to the third fret. So, my mistake, you're gonna actually go to I'm thinking about it without the capo. So uh, you're gonna go from hit the open E string and then go to the relative capo second fret. So, so open to the second and back to open. So you hear how it's kind of that, it kind of repeats the theme is do 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 so all right and then back to um so and then from the second fret to the third fret here so from the second fret fret you're just going back and forth all right I'm just gonna keep playing this until the parts all kind of come together for you guys so those parts it repeats, so. And then after you go through that second round of that, you're gonna change it up and go to the fifth fret of, of the E right here and slide it up to the seventh fret of the E, so. So it's a little different here when you do this, so. So you hit that. So. Then come back to the second of the, of the E right here, so. And then back to that second to third, back and forth. So how you end it is that you just go from the second to the third and just hit, hit it once each time going back and forth, so. So everything all together should sound
Play that as many times, replay that as many times as you need. Hopefully that was cohesive enough for you guys to be able to glue that all together. So just a little quick recap for that all. Your verses are just gonna be that G, E minor, and that F sharp minor sus four. Your bridge is gonna be that C sharp minor, A, B, E. And so, and just remember that it's that down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And when you finally get to that solo, palm mutes are gonna definitely help out. I mean, if you can palm mute and play it, then it kind of gives it a little bit of fattier groove. But if you just want to like, you know, get the most, you know, punch out of it that you can, then by all means, they will go ahead and, and, and pick open away. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully this helped out. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share to a friend, you know, any fellow Tame Impala fan. Uh, hopefully you did justice for this one. Really appreciate you guys and your patience here. Alrighty, and if you have any requests, go ahead and shoot me one. Thank you.